morning for nation crew i'm about to make two pans of corn casserole for some family members it requires six ingredients jiffy corn muffin mix sour cream stick of butter can of cream style corn a can of whole corn or corn this one you're going to drain the juice off or the water the liquid off and then you're going to put some sugar in you're going to mix and then you're going to bake at 400 degrees for about 20 25 minutes just kind of depends you want it to be nice and golden brown and semi-firm you don't want it very like jiggly loose all right so i will show you what it looks like once i have it mixed in Doesn't matter. I don't want to do this stuff in. As long as you get all six ingredients in. It's kind of like dump, mix, bake type of deal. It's the cream corn. And my other can of cream corn. Of course, wash off the tops of your cans. Before opening them, you don't know where they've been, what's touched it, what was on top of it. I'm going to drain it off. Like I said, that old kernel corn. Just dump that all in there. And that is sugar, sour cream, the whole 16 ounce container, all 16 ounces of it. You want to put in. My oven is preheating right now. I'm also going to be making a meatloaf later for dinner. Try to get that done before I have to go to work at one o'clock and then I'm also going to be doing some banana muffins but this part of the video is just for the corn casserole and a stick of unsalted butter which is fairly expensive but when you're baking it's better just to use certain things For a better product. Okay. And I always have to count my ingredients. Make sure I have all six cornbread mix, cream corn, regular corn, sour cream, butter, sugar. All right, so you just mix and then we get it in the oven. So I got the ingredients in both, and I'm just stirring to combine. My um, oven is already at 400 degrees. Make sure you get everything stirred together to incorporate it. There we go. Some people may ask, should you melt the butter and then mix it in? No, I just cut it up in pieces. Smooth it out. That's 
one. Second one. second one all right got them both just off put that there and I'll put them into the oven bake them for about uh, about 20 minutes and you just check it see if it's golden brown or not all right in the oven they are we'll come back when they're done okay I just want to show you how it's starting to form But, let me move it, see it's still a little jiggly, so that's how you know it has to cook some more. We're probably about 10, 15 minutes in, about 15, almost 20 minutes in, so we're probably going to let it go for like another 10 minutes. All right, Phonation crew, let me see the edges there. See, it's not, the pan's moving, but see, it's not all jiggly like jello. You can see where, see, it's cooked, so you're starting to separate. And you got the nice brown edges. Oh, it's going to be so good. All right, this is going to conclude this video on corn casserole. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day.